We want to see an end to austerity. That's a genuine end to austerity. Very popular in England, as it is in Scotland. That's a half percent real terms increase in public expenditure. That will release £140 billion for investment and spending over the next five years. It means we think we can fully fund the NHS across the UK. We want to see an end to spending £100 billion on Trident and its replacement. And we want to drive forward that progressive agenda throughout the whole of the UK. Where does the SNP stand on TTIP? There's nothing wrong with trade agreements in general. However, this trade agreement and the ability of multinationals perhaps to take governments or public bodies uh, to court, uh, we are incredibly anxious about. So there's a couple of key things. We want uh, exclusion written into the face of the bill for the NHS, for Scottish Water and for our public services before we would be prepared to countenance that. Another part of TTIP which um, our, our members are, are concerned about is the, um, the ISDS mechanism, the mechanism whereby um, corporations would yeah. be given a, a separate legal system through, through which they could sue governments. Um, where does the SNP well, stand it, on it, ISDS? It, it's ridiculous that corporations can sue governments through a different legislative or a different legal regime. If a government or a public body needs to be taken to court, it has to be taken to court through the existing judicial structures. But it shouldn't be because a business isn't allowed to make a profit on the back of a public service. And that's the key point. If SNP MPs down in Westminster were, were given a vote on, on a TTIP deal which included ISDS, no, no, uh, you, would, you, would, we, you would vote against? We'd be, yes, we, we couldn't support that. Would SNP MPs vote against any further privatisation of the NHS, including in England? Yes, absolutely. The NHS must remain public. We would meet the Simon Stevens, the Stevens uh, recommendations for a £9.5 billion real terms uplift in the NHS in England. Now, clearly there's a you know, £2 billion uh, cash consequence for Scotland of that, and that's the right thing to do but it means we take the NHS seriously, we fully fund it, and we don't leave it with the threat of privatisation and charges, which I suspect is the next thing on the agenda if there's another Tory-led government. Could you explain where you stand on the Mayfair loophole, this tax loophole that 38 Degrees members have identified and are campaigning to close? Well, we, we got very useful information, detailed information, uh, that the relief which would go to people who invest uh, was going to people fund managers who'd only put in a small amount of the money. Uh, at face value that seems uh, wrong, that's an abuse of that loophole and we have committed to say yes we will close it.